I'm really excited about introducing these next four performers. Because they are great girls on the stage, and they are great off. They are fun to be around, wherever you are. Four Girls Four is a much acclaimed musical comedy review starring Margaret Whiting, Rosemary, Rosemary Clooney, and Helen O'Connell. Four Girls Four has been playing to capacity crowds throughout this nation the past year. It originated in Los Angeles, where it was so successful that it came back immediately for an encore engagement. Now we're going to be entertained by the stars individually, and then they will all perform together. First, a lady who has sung many songs that have become standards. She had all the hit records. She was the beginning of Capitol Records. Her father wrote all of the standards that we still know and love and sing, like Hooray for Hollywood and Guilty and uh, Beyond the Blue Horizon and I could just go on all the day, My Ideal. Uh, her songs on record included the hits Moonlight in Vermont and It Might As Well Be Spring. Would you please welcome the first of four girls for a dear friend for many years, Margaret Whiting. <laughs> As a woman in a windstorm, I'm as jumpy as a puppet on a string. I haven't seen a crocus or a rosebud or that robin on the wing, but I feel so gay in a That it might as well be spring. It might as well be spring. There's a tree. The meadow, the stream drifting by, and caught upon that tree, I see I love you till I die. I shall always remember.
thank you. Oh, what a beautiful audience. And have I got a treat for you. Ladies and gentlemen, number two. One of the loveliest ladies I know, one of the most beautiful women I know, one of the greatest singers, and one of the best entertainers in the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Miss Helen O'Connell. Thank you. To continue this review, Four Girls Four, television viewers are certainly familiar with this next member of Four Girls Four as a fine comedian from the Dick Van Dyke Show and her current post at Hollywood Squares. But a whole new generation of fans are discovering what a lot of us already knew for a long time. She is a terrific stage performer as well. So for the beginning of this, I suggest here in the studio you watch your monitors for a very special introduction to Rose Marie. Watch. You will now hear Baby Rose Marie, one of radio's youngest and hottest entertainers. stores can't find them you know Did you ever try to find one of their furs you can't find them you gotta win them on a game show and I found out that ever since I've been with Hollywood Squares which is now 13 years I found out that everything they give away on those shows you can't buy any place you gotta win them on a game show for instance have you ever had anybody come over to you and say I'd like you to move my house see my Broyhill furniture <laughs> nobody's got Broyhill furniture 
Mary Kay Cosmetics, even Mary Kay can't find them. <laughs> Sarah Coventry Jewelry, all those things. You can't buy them any place. You gotta win them on a game show. And then since I've been doing that show, I told you, 13 years, my whole life has changed. Everything, the way I talk, the way I live, my whole lifestyle, everything's changed. People come over to me, they ask me a question, I say, true or false? <laughs> and I go to my house for dinner, when they start to leave, I say, wait, I have parting gifts. <laughs> and they're over $400 today. <laughs> And my lady who comes to clean once a week, I give her multiple choice. <laughs> bathroom, kitchen, or the floors. <laughs> does my bedroom, I give her two-week vacation in Hawaii. <laughs> at Ilakai. <laughs> I think right now, right at this very moment while we're all here, there's got to be at least seven million people at the Ilakai Hotel in Honolulu. <laughs> all game show winners. It's the game show Siberia. That's what they sent him. But I tell you, since I've been doing Hollywood Squares, I'm very proud of it. Really, I am. I kid about it, I tease about it, but it's been very, very good to me. It really has. In fact, I started with the show right from the very beginning. In fact, I made the first three pilots on that show. There was a guy from Western Airline. I gotta tell you, ever since I've been doing that show, you know, 13 years ago, they used to tease me, looking for a guy, you know, can't get a husband, trying to get a date, you know. So, of course, all the questions used to pertain to that, like uh, what you should wear on a date, what you should say. Well, it's 13 years later, folks, and nothing's happened. <laughs> so now I get questions on gorillas, varicose veins. Once in a while, they throw in a hot flash question. <laughs> but now, in the last batch of shows that we did, Peter asked me a question. He said, if you gave the man your number and the man calls, and he seems a little nervous and shy, what should you do? Well, the answer should have been, you don't make him shyer or nervouser. You help him out, at least you try. Or he's just gonna say goodbye, which is exactly what they always say to me. Goodbye. When it comes to men, do I ever do what's right? Any year, any month, any morning, afternoon, or night. If there's a wrong way to say it, a wrong way to play it, nobody does it like me. There's a wrong way to do it, a right way to screw it up. Nobody does it like me. I got a big long mouth. I'm always talking much too free. If you go for tack manners, better stay away from me. There's a wrong way to play it, a right way to be a fool. Nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong bell, I ring it. A wrong bell, I sing it. Nobody does it like me. If there's a problem, I duck it. I don't solve it, I just muck it up. Nobody does it like me. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. Now, 13 years ago, it was very funny. Ha-ha, uh -huh. can't get a guy. Ho-ho, looking for a husband. Mm -hmm. 13 years later, folks, it ain't funny anymore. I mean, I'm dead serious. Every guy I go out with, a problem. I don't know why, I think I'm fairly attractive. Got a fairly nice figure, get in there. I tell you, folks, if there's anything in there, there better be a star in the East. <laughs> you know, you try to go out with all different kinds of guys, you know, lawyers, you know, businessmen. Oh, I've got to tell you, we're not with the doctor from Beverly Hills. Dr. Sam Peckerman. <laughs> the name alone should have told me something, right? <laughs> so when I try to be a lady, I'm no lady, I'm a broad. Get a guy, a right way to lose a guy. Nobody does it like me. Nobody does it, no, nobody does it. Nobody, I said, nobody. I try and I try and I can't get a guy, and believe me, I'm starting to fidget. The government says we should all cut down, okay? I'll take a midget. Nobody does it. Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. You are a fantastic audience. And now you're in for a wonderful treat. Here's a lady that I know you've heard all of her wonderful recordings, her many albums that she's made, and the motion pictures that you've seen her in, 
And just recently, she was honored by the centerfold of Field and Stream. And... <laughs> oh, she's going to kill me for that. She really is. I love her dearly. She's a great performer and a wonderful singer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to be on the same stage with Miss Rosemary Clooney. Places in my life and time. I've sung a lot of songs. I've made some bad rhymes. I've acted out my life on stages with 10,000 people watching. But we're alone now, and I'm singing this song. what I hope to be I've treated you unkindly but darling can't you see there's no one more important to me darling can't you please see through me cause we're alone now and I'm singing this song for you Precious secrets of the truth with holding nothing. You came out in front while I was hiding. But now I'm so much better. And if my words won't come together, listen to the melody. Subaru four-wheel drive Brat. Fun on or off the road, just a flick of a lever switches the Brat front-wheel drive to a four-wheel drive. At Subaru, we're changing the face of four-wheel drive. I can't believe that you four have been on the road and haven't punched each other out. We have. I mean, are there fights and all that oh, kind of sure, stuff? Oh, sure, you know all that stuff. You're kidding, really? Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. hi. Have hi. you met, have you met oh, Dimples? Have I met Who? Dimples? Dimples? Dimples, the clone. The, the princess. The princess, and you are? Guess what my name is. I don't know. The, the mouth. mouth. The mouth. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Do you really all still get along? I mean, are you, it's all fun and... It's marvelous. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah. We get along better than ever. Really? We have a marvelous How many time. of you in the audience believe that? Yeah. They it's do. The Isn't that true? True. true. Would I lie? Would I lie? Yeah, yes, of yes. Of course you would. No, I, I watched would. that what? show. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the main clue? Yes, yes, you would. We get along most of the time, don't we? I'll give you an example. Some of the time is... Go, you, Margaret. I was going to say that one... I have the worst hair. And you have the what? The worst hair. hair. She has baby fights. See, Clune has gorgeous hair. She's back there, you know, with the brush going, whap, whap, like that. 
This one has baby fine hair with the hairdresser. The, you know, me, I'm going like this with the spray. And she's got baby fine hair. Yeah, but who did my hair today? I did. You did. That's right. We all pitch in and help each other. We sew each other's dresses if we have to. Her beads keep coming off. We Doesn't this just sound like comfort cozy? Yeah. Well, it's not. It's a lot of baloney. Four broads, four. You're cute. Never have I had all four of it. Do guys yes. come back to the door? Do you look, look who he has. Look who he has. Look at this. Look if it's not the band, yeah. Uh, They're it, all hustling it, it, It's the maitre d's. He's after and you? And, what, yes. What is she and, talking and about? The men in our life. The groupies. Oh, the groupies. Oh, the men, oh, the men in our lives. What is that? Did I tell you I could make them do this fast, the folks? The men in my <laughs> life. Can I start a fight? Yeah, Clooney, tell, right. tell them about her last right. night with the band. Sure. Oh, listen, you sure. know that she had a date uh, last night with the entire brass section of our orchestra? Oh, no, They were so loud. Oh, were they loud? Oh, they loud. You know I can't get to them now? No, <laughs> you'll find them. Here they are. Four for their big finale. Yeah. Rosie Clooney, Helen O'Connell, Rosemary, and Margaret Whiting. So when our blonde quartet, sing it, Rose. Got the running order set. Yeah, do like it. Sexy, I love it, honey. Rehearsals were well, quite literally. 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 A song. Where Wherever we go, whatever we do, we're gonna go through it. States on the way, we can't wait to play them together. So on through the friendly skies we go, with more than all the young guys we know. The boys need to join our us, we go, oh we go, together. Whenever we sing, we grab the brass ring, and do our own thing every show. Don't we love TV? It's loud and it's free. But we'd rather be here. 